In the room devoted to the Lippis, there is Filippo's most famous and admired work, the Madonna and Child with Two Angels. The work's fortunes are undoubtedly tied in with the artist's non-conformist life. Besides being a painter, Filippo was also a Carmelite monk. While the artist was in Prato to fresco the cathedral, he was appointed chaplain of the convent of Santa Catarina. Here he met the beautiful Lucrezia Butti, a nun who had been given permission by the abbess to pose as a model. The pair fell in love, and as in all the best love stories, Filippo decided to spirit away his beloved during the procession of the sacred girdle. He took her to live with him in his house in Prato. Sometime later, their son, Filippino, was born. It was Cosimo the Elder, out of admiration for Filippo's artistic talent, who put an end to the scandal and extricated the two sacrilegious lovers from the tangle they were in. He persuaded the Pope to grant Filippo and Lucrezia a dispensation, releasing them from their vows and giving them permission to marry. But Vasari recounts that the pair did not actually wed, and continued to live together in a house in Piazza Duomo, because, in his words, Filippo preferred to have complete liberty for himself and his appetites. Tradition has it that the profile of the young Madonna of the Uffizi resembles the features of the beautiful Lucrezia, while the angel smiling in the direction of the viewer is a portrait of the young Filippino. The Virgin's elaborate headdress recalls the Flemish painting of the age, while the airy landscape in the background anticipates the sfumato views of Leonardo. <laughs>